Welcome back. You're still watching your story on SA Today. Now, musicians, artists and composers took to the streets of Cape Town in a bid to compel President Cyril Ramaphosa not to sign the Copyright Amendment Bill into law in its current form. The artists say that there are a number of issues in the bill not properly addressed and would further infringe on, amongst others, their intellectual property rights. It's a protest of a different kind. These artists are hoping President Cyril Ramaphosa will strike the chord when he applies his mind on the copyright amendment bill. With livelihoods at stake, the Trade Union for Musicians of South Africa, however, says there are sections of the bill that must be re-evaluated. We're saying, halt, let's just stop. Let's have further consultation with us, such as the creators. There was massive, massive consultation with all the sectors under the, under the DTI. Us as composers, five of us had one little session with the portfolio committee and all they did was take selfies with us and they were so in awe of being with some of the celebrities that are here today. But we asked for three or four very simple things and not a single one of those things appear in the current draft of this bill. How can we be expected to be happy with that? The artists say the bill in its current form uses American terminology referring to fair use. But they propose that a European model should be adopted that speaks to fair dealing. This is particularly important for content on internet platforms. Fair use is that anyone, a YouTuber, can use my music, they can use Olani Maula's music. They don't have to consult me, they don't have to speak to me beforehand. They'll just, you know, if I find out later, then, you know, maybe they'll give me something later. But fair dealing, you find out who composed the music. You make sure that you pay those musicians, you make sure you pay those artists. And that is how our industry grows. The union says education around intellectual property is critical. We're talking about having, restoring and rebuilding our cultural identity as well, so that everyone can be educated as to the intellectual property, the idea behind the song, and then protecting the song and honouring and crediting the musicians who created it. A memorandum was handed over at the Cape Town station to the Deputy Minister of Finance, who was part of a delegation, including the President, that focused on transport issues. Dumsa says there is still no proper regulation of the industry, costing artists their income, which often, later in their lives, leave them destitute. Mariska Boerta, SABC News, Cape Town.